It was Australia's biggest brush with the Cold War, and one that went on to literally split the Labour Party in two. But a twist in the plot happened here, just outside the ACT, in a Skoda. It's a dangerous place to be in a Skoda, especially if it's Christmas Eve 1953 and you're a defecating Russian spy. Defecting Russian spy. Vladimir Petrov and his wife Evdokia arrived in Australia in 1951, ostensibly as diplomats at the Soviet embassy in Canberra. But in reality, they were here to set up a Russian spy network. Two years later, however, hated Soviet dictator and all-round horrible guy, Joseph Stalin, died. And anyone to do with his government was executed, including Vladimir's boss. The Petrovs feared that they would face a similar fate if they ever went back. As it turns out, the Australian spies were already on to him. Sorry, no, that's not what happened. We convinced him to work with us, which he did, without telling his wife. You can see where this is going. But before he made his defection official, he had a suspicious rendezvous in Kuma with someone from the French embassy. It's not known what it was about, but on his way back, driving along in his beloved dark green 1951 Skoda, he claims a large truck shoved him off the road. He was cut and bruised, but he did manage to get out before the whole thing caught fire. And instantly, his mind leapt to assassination. He came back the next day to find the charred chassis stripped of its engine and gearbox. But he never said a word to police until a few months later and no truck driver ever came forward either. He continued to claim it was an assassination attempt by disgruntled Soviet colleagues, but the local authorities weren't so sure. We might never know what really happened to the Skoda, but we do know what happened to the Petrovs. Vladimir was moved to a safe house in Sydney in April 1954. Meanwhile, the Soviets told his wife he had been kidnapped and tried to get her back off to Russia on board a plane from Sydney. However, Australia's intelligence agency had done a deal with the pilot, so the flight only made it as far as Darwin Airport. After being dragged away from her escorts, Mrs Petrov agreed to stay in Australia. The couple were given new names and relocated to Melbourne, where they died peacefully decades later. <laughs> 